Hey guys, how's it going? What's up? And welcome back to Glitch Gaming 21. Now, to start off, let me just say I have not played Ghost in week, and it's 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 pretty evident in these videos. I don't do too awful well, but anyways, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about Call of Duty Ghost, how I think about it, and what I like and don't like about it. As I've my previous video, I talked about how. Sniping is uh, sometimes it's, it's just very annoying. Like, I it just it really bothers me when I shoot someone and they just don't die. It, that's really annoying to me. And also, uh, my first I had two videos up. Uh, this one right here is going to be a team deathmatch on Trimmer. The second one is going to be a, a hardcore on uh, Warhawk. I think I can't remember his name. Uh, yeah, then this is actually the. F First Call of Duty, I really play a lot of uh, the standard, just normal team deathmatch. Because in most of the other Call of Duty, just I find it very annoying. I hate being able to shoot somebody first and then still die. I just I want it more realistic. But in in this Call of Duty, it seems like it's it's so much easier to just shoot somebody and them actually die. Uh, that probably sounds a little silly, but just if you if you've ever played any other Call of Duties, especially just standard team deathmatch it feels like you put an entire clip into some people sometimes and they just do not die and that just I, I hated it it really just bugged me I would get so mad and I would rage quit a lot because of this uh, Black Ops I did more uh, Black Ops 2 I would play more of a free for all and stuff like that I didn't really mess with uh, team deathmatch though because of that with a uh, free for all it didn't seem that bad because well Free for all, it just seems like I could just, you know, stay in one spot and they just come to me and I just, you know, rack up the kills. That's one thing about this game though, it's just it's, it's a lot easier to kill people in this game. It's a heck of a lot easier. Now, I I'm I don't really like the spawning in this game really. Like it's sometimes it's okay, but other times it's just it's annoying. Like I hate spawning, walking five or six steps and somebody shoots you in the back. It's just uh it really bugs me. I got that. I don't know where that guy came from whatsoever, but yeah, I I do decent with this. Oh, and uh, the gun I'm using. I think I I I'm not gonna tell you what the gun I'm using. I can't remember what it's called. I don't want to say something and be wrong, but it is a great gun. I really like this gun. If you're a decent aim whatsoever, that you should try this gun because close range. If you hit them in the chest, it's a three shot kill, which is one trigger pull. But, uh, so, but if you're a kind of person who wants to spray and pray, just don't use this gun. It's not worth it. <laughs> it does not spray. And trying to go full on match with this gun is terrible. I do not like it. It's harder. It's hard to aim with this gun. We go full automatic. But it, it's a very powerful gun, and I really enjoy using this gun. On a uh, hardcore, though, I usually go with the uh, Honey Badger. That's probably one of the most used guns I've seen in this game. Almost everybody uses the honey badger sometimes. Now, I think I go 20 and 7 in this game. See, I don't really like this map. I'm not much of a trimmer. Like, I've gotten better on it, but when I first started it, just uh, so many people camp in the buildings. And I just, uh, it bugs me. Like, I will camp to a point, but I won't just sitting in the corner. I, I don't just sit in the corner and wait for people to walk around. It's, uh, that, that kills me. I do not camp that way. And I, yeah, I got two guard dogs in this. I don't, I haven't really messed around with many of the, uh, kill streaks. Just haven't really messed with them. Mainly because I can't live long enough to get some of them. <laughs> but there's one thing in this game. Uh. Oh, one thing I have a problem with is it's a bad habit of mine. Every time I kill somebody, I want to reload. Every time I kill somebody. And I, that gets me killed so many times. Like right there, I reload, and there was not really any reason for it right there. Like I was, I, I shot maybe four times. And just, I do it all the time. Like right there, I don't know why he didn't die. Like I said, I, I, I made a comment earlier about 
three shots in the chest with this gun, you're dead, and right there, I just made myself look like a liar. But most time it does. Most time you shoot him three times in the chest with this gun, and it will work. They will die. So if you're a decent aim whatsoever, this 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 gun is good. Like I actually ended up uh, putting me on a red site with it because of the whole uh, three three round burst. Because it seems like it'd be a lot easier to aim with a red dot sight with this gun. Because I just it's harder to uh, I don't know. It's, I like to pre aim. I'm I pre aim around almost every corner. Well, most of the time I pre aim. And with the Iron sights with this gun, it's kind of hard to consider you can't just, you know, spray. So, yeah. Okay, and there you go. There's the first game. Second game should start soon. Oh, that's one thing about this game, too. It's a lot easier to knife people in this game. Like I really like Black Ops 2, <laughs> you would run by somebody and just knife, and you'd miss five or six times before you ever got him. You had to be like spot on to knife somebody. That's insane. I, I play a lot of hardcore. I do. I play a lot of hardcore. And I don't really see a lot of people playing hardcore. I know most people stay with the, uh, the core. But in this game, I do, I do very well at first. And then toward the end, though, I just uh, I start dying a lot. Uh, me and another guy, me and him both. I don't, I had no idea who he is, but we both uh, went like 18 and two to be, start the game off. And yeah, we destroyed this team, and they ended up starting to just you know camp in corners and stuff, hide in buildings, and uh, and like an idiot, I would just like run in buildings, not even paying attention, and get myself shot. I don't. I guess I just got a little cocky as, since I was starting to do good. As you see on this gun, I use the uh, red dot sight and uh, under barrel uh, hand grip thing. Cause hardcore, you really you don't need anything with high damage or anything. I liked how I already had this silencer attached. That's why I went to the honey badger. So, and this here is one of my favorite maps. It really is. I do. I usually always do decent. And I have a tendency though. You wanna that building right there ahead in front of me. I, I like going there and <laughs> setting that building sometimes. Cause yes, I, sometimes I will camp. I will camp sometimes. Depends on how the game's going for me. Yeah, like I said though, I don't do like hardcore camping. I will not just sit in a corner in the middle of the map and just you know wait for somebody to walk by. Like, I camp, but a reasonable camping, I guess, if there is such thing. Like I see the guy running back through there, so I try to flank him and never can find him. <laughs> don't know where he went. Don't think I ever find him. So it's been a while since I've played Call of Duty. I don't do too well, and I'd say I'll and I'm back at school, so I will be able to upload a lot faster now. Like I had a uh, Assassin's Creed video. I've had it for a while since I didn't want to upload at home because everybody was complaining about the internet being too slow. It would take me literally three days to upload a 12 minute video. But anyways, I had a video for Assassin's Creed. It took me an hour. It took me an hour here. The internet is so much faster. So yeah, so uh, if anybody even cares, if you're watching this, just look forward to that. I'll have a lot more videos up if I can get playing time. Uh, looks like my schedule is going to allow me to play. It really does. I don't have any classes back to back, so that's good. But say, uh, if it does come down to my school, uh, I mean, school comes first, so. There might be some days or weeks that I videos are kind of slow, but eh, it'll be okay. I'll still I'll get my videos out. Uh, I will not be doing videos on weekends though because of the fact that I'll go home on the weekends and, well, internet is way too slow there anyways. It would be Monday or Tuesday before the video ever got uploaded anyways. Uh, right, they're here in a little bit is when I start doing bad because they start camping. I, I think we can pull up the score here in a second and you can see 
They meet another guy. We're just, you know, we're tearing it up. The other team, I think they ended up scoring it being like 75 to 19. It was just, it was slaughter. The other guy ends up doing better than me, though, because I start, you know, being an idiot and running around corners. Not even paying attention, because, you know, at the beginning of the game, these guys weren't doing anything. It just, they seemed really slow, and it seemed like I had the upper hand the entire game. So, I got a little cocky and just wasn't really paying attention. I ended up getting myself killed quite a bit. Ended up running out of ammo there and had to pick up this gun. Not sure what this gun is. I, I'm thinking about doing a uh, some tips and tricks videos, but I don't, I don't know if I'm you know I don't know if I'd be you know good enough to show people that and they actually care. I mean I do decent. I, I go positive. I. I think, uh, if I, I haven't really played all that much, really. I think I have a day worth of playing time. So, as I get better, I, my, my KD should start going up. I think my KD right now is like a 1.3, and that's, you know, starting out, it was like a 1.5, because this game is just, it, it always takes me a little bit to get used to games. But usually towards the end, I start doing a lot better. And, like, uh I think I'm going to start doing some Search and Destroy videos. I have not played Search and Destroy with Ghost yet, so I probably won't post the very first games because I do not know people will be camping or where people will run or where everything is. But I, I played a lot of Search and Destroy on uh, Black Ops 2. I don't know. I, at first, I didn't really see what the big deal was about Search and Destroy. I never played it. I had I'd never played it before. And then I started playing it on Black Ops 2 and ended up really enjoying it. Actually, right here is when I start dying a lot. So I just start running around right in the open and stuff. Guy wagon. Oh my, that reminds me. I had other videos, which I, I ain't gonna post them because I just do not do well. I mean, there, I have plenty of videos where I don't do well. Because like I said, I haven't played in a while. But anyways, I was, I was, a uh, see what... Uh, the Chasm, I think that's what it's called. Sniper gone in, so they lagged. I shot them three or four times, and they just, they was lagging. And on the uh, on their video where they kill me, I'm like, your mind from Blake, what's called? Anyways, it, they just walk right up to me and shoot me. And am I on my screen? Which I might show it. I, I'm thinking about doing a uh, montage. But yeah, oh, this video's about to end, so I'll just go ahead and wrap it up. Well, okay, this has been Glitch Gaming 21. Hope you liked my video. Please leave a like. Please comment how I can make my videos better. I would really appreciate that. And also, if you enjoy and want to see more, please subscribe. This has been Glitch Gaming 21. Later.